Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is the main diagonal of a matrix? The diagonals of matrices come up a lot when we study matrices, so it's an important thing to know. Let's get right into the lesson, shouldn't be too hard. Remember that a matrix is made up of rows and columns. The horizontal sections are the rows and the vertical sections are the columns. So in this case, we would say that this is a three by three matrix because it has three rows and it has three columns. Additionally, each entry in a matrix can be identified specifically by its row and column. For example, I could identify this zero entry as being in the second row and second column. Or I could identify seven as being in the third row and the first column. So what is the main diagonal of a matrix? Well, intuitively, you would think that the diagonal of this matrix should be this collection of entries here. And indeed it is. This is the main diagonal of this matrix. And that's because each of these entries are in the same numbered row and column. So by that, I mean this entry here, two, is in the first row and the first column. And then this zero here is in the second row and the second column. And then this two down here is in the third row and the third column. So we could represent a generic entry in a matrix like this, A subscript IJ, where I refers to the row number that the entry is located in, and J refers to the column number. Then the main diagonal of a matrix is the collection of all entries A, I, J, where I is equal to J. So the main diagonal of a matrix is the collection of entries that are in the same numbered row and column. This is most intuitive for what are called square matrices. A square matrix is a matrix that has the same number of rows and columns, just like this matrix here with three rows and three columns. But we can also use the same definition of main diagonal when looking at a matrix that is not a square matrix. For example, here is a matrix with four rows and only two columns. It is most common to see and use the term main diagonal with square matrices, but again, we can also apply the definition to a matrix like this. And it's the same exact concept. The diagonal of this matrix is the collection of entries that are in the same numbered row and column. So that would be this two and eight. Two is in the first row, first column. Eight is in the second row, second column. And of course, there's no third column to continue the diagonal. So this is the entire main diagonal of the matrix. Sometimes you might also want to refer not to this diagonal of a matrix, but instead to this diagonal, going from the bottom left to the top right. This is sometimes called a counter diagonal or an anti diagonal. And I'll talk about counter diagonals in another video, but if it interests you, you should take a minute or two and think about how you would define the counter diagonal of a matrix. Remember that the main diagonal is the collection of entries A, I, J, where I is equal to J, which means it's the collection of entries that are in the same numbered row and same numbered column. So think about it, how would you define the counter diagonal? Let me know what you come up with down in the comments. So I hope this video helped you understand what the main diagonal of a matrix is. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Plutonian dreams of hellfire home.